let's get right into it. Number 9. Your fingers are lying about the temperature. Picture this. Your fingers turning white or blue in the cold. You think it's just normal, poor circulation. Well, this is likely a condition called Raynaud's phenomenon. It's where your blood vessels go completely drama queen when they get cold or stressed. Instead of just reducing blood flow like a normal person's hands, your vessels basically throw a tantrum and shut down completely. Your fingers put on a whole theatrical performance in three acts. First, they turn ghost white, like they've seen a ghost themselves. Then they go blue, like they're auditioning for Avatar. Finally, when blood rushes back, they turn bright red and start burning like they're trying to cosplay as a lobster. And this isn't just about being cold. Your fingers might pull this stunt just because you're stressed, or even from grabbing a cold drink from the fridge. It's not just fingers either. This can happen to your toes, ears, nose, and even your tongue. Number 8. The inability to count sheep. Ever tried counting sheep to fall asleep? One fluffy sheep, two fluffy sheep. But you can't actually see any sheep in your mind. It's just darkness up there. This isn't just you being bad at counting farm animals. You might have something called aphantasia. It's a condition where your brain literally can't create mental images. It's like having a broken projector in your head. Scientists actually test for this with something called the apple test. They ask people to picture a red apple in their mind. Most folks can see it clear as day. But people with aphantasia just get a big blank screen. These people often grew up thinking phrases like picture this or see it in your mind's eye were just expressions everyone said. They thought everyone else was being metaphorical. They're basically living in a world where everyone else has this superpower they thought was fake. The craziest part is people with aphantasia can still be super creative. They just do it differently. Instead of mental pictures, they work with concepts and words. It's like their brain found a workaround for the broken projector. Number 7. Your superpower is a bug, not a feature. So you're that person at parties who can bend their thumb all the way back to their forearm. Everyone's amazed. They call you double-jointed, and for a moment you feel like a superhero. Well, I've got some bad news for you. Your superpower is called hypermobility, and it basically means your body's natural glue is about as reliable as a dollar store adhesive. Your connective tissues are looser than they should be, like a rubber band that's been stretched too many times. Sure, you can do some cool party tricks that make people's jaws drop, but those loose joints mean you're basically a walking injury waiting to happen. Every time you do one of those cool bendy tricks, you're actually risking a dislocation. And this so-called superpower often comes with a fun bonus package of chronic pain and random joint dislocations. It's like your body's response to your cool party trick is to give you arthritis at 25. So next time someone calls you a superhero for your flexibility, just remember, you're not X-Men material. You're more like a factory recall that somehow made it to the showroom floor. Number 6. The Statue of Liberty's Toes So you're looking at Lady Liberty, this massive green icon of freedom, and you notice something weird about her feet. Her second toe is longer than her big toe. You might think this was just the sculptor being sloppy, but nope, this was actually done on purpose. It's called Morton's toe, or Greek toe if you're feeling fancy. The French guy who designed Lady Liberty, Bartholdi, was really into Greek art, and back in ancient Greece they thought having a longer second toe made you special. Like, literally god-tier special. They carved all their gods and heroes with this weird toe thing going on. It was their standard of beauty. About 10 to 30% of people actually have this same toe situation. Some cultures even believed having a longer second toe meant you were destined to be a leader. So if your second toe is longer than your first, congrats. You've got the same feet as a 305-foot tall goddess of freedom. Number 5. The gene that makes food taste like poison. Imagine sitting down at a Mexican restaurant, excited for some fresh guacamole. You take a big scoop and shove it in your mouth. Suddenly it tastes like someone dumped a bottle of Dawn dish soap in your food. You're not crazy, and the chef isn't trying to poison you. You've just got a weird gene that makes cilantro taste like cleaning supplies. Scientists found this gene called OR6A2, and if you've got the wrong version of it, cilantro becomes your worst enemy. About 4-14% to of people have this gene. This gene affects how your nose detects certain chemicals in cilantro. These chemicals are called aldehydes, and they're actually the same compounds found in soap. So these people aren't being dramatic. Their brain is literally sending an emergency alert. Soap detected. Abort mission. This gene variation probably evolved for a reason. Maybe our ancestors needed to avoid certain poisonous plants that had similar compounds, but instead of protecting us from deadly toxins, it's just ruining Taco Tuesday for millions of people. Number 4. The line on your palm that isn't normal. Check your palm right now. Most people have two or three distinct lines running across their palm. 
but about 1 in 30 people have something different. Instead of multiple lines, they have just one single line running straight across their palm. It's called a single transverse palmar crease, but doctors used to call it the simian crease because they thought it looked like monkey palms. This weird palm line forms when you're still in the womb, around 12 weeks of development, and it's more common in guys. When nurses see this single line on newborn babies, they sometimes freak out a bit. There's this story of a nurse who had a mini panic attack when she saw it on a baby. Then she looked at the dad's palm and realized it runs in the family. But most people with this line are totally fine and probably don't even know they're part of the 3% club. Number 3. The Willpower Goosebumps So you know how you get goosebumps when you're cold or scared. Well, some people can just make them happen whenever they want. These people have something called voluntary pilo erection, which is just a fancy way of saying they can control their goosebumps with their mind. And this is super rare. We're talking about only one in every 1,500 people can do this. For most of us, these muscles only work when we're cold or freaked out. But these goosebump wizards can just sit there and make their skin go bumpy whenever they want. They're basically overriding their body's autopilot system. Scientists are actually pretty excited about this because it challenges what we know about the nervous system. It's like these people found a cheat code for their body that wasn't supposed to exist. And it gets even weirder. Most of these goosebump wizards report having other strange abilities too. Some can wiggle their ears independently. Others claim they can dilate their pupils at will. It's like they've unlocked some hidden menu in the human body that the rest of us can't access. Number two, you can hear silent videos. So you're scrolling through your feed late at night and you see this gif of a huge tower crashing down and you swear you can hear a massive boom, but your phone is on silent and it's a gif. GIFs don't have sound. This weird phenomenon is called the Visual Evoked Auditory Response, or VEER for short. It's basically your brain making up sounds that aren't there. About 20 to 30% of people can hear silent videos. Your brain sees something that should make a sound, decides it knows what that sound is, and then just makes it up for you. It's like your brain is a DJ, mixing visuals with imaginary sound effects. There was this one video of some electricity pylons bouncing around silently that went viral. 70% of people who watched it swore they could hear the thuds. Even some deaf people experienced this. Their brain is like, I've never heard a sound in my life, but trust me, that thing definitely went thud. So next time you're watching a silent video and hear something, remember your brain is just being an overachiever. Number one, why chewing sounds make you want to commit violence. So you're sitting there, enjoying your lunch break, when Dave from accounting starts munching on his chips. Suddenly, you're fantasizing about throwing Dave out the window. Don't worry. You're not a psychopath. You might just have misophonia. It's a brain condition where normal sounds trigger your fight-or-flight response. Scientists did brain scans on people with misophonia, and their anterior insular cortex goes absolutely bonkers when hearing these sounds. That's the part of your brain that decides if something is threatening. So while normal people just hear crunch, 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 the brain of someone with misophonia is sounding a full-blown red alert. Their brains literally can't tell the difference between someone eating cereal and someone breaking into their house. Your body dumps stress hormones into your system. Your heart starts racing. Your blood pressure spikes. And you're ready to throw down with Karen from accounting just because she's enjoying her apple a bit too loudly. And it's not just chewing, breathing, yawning. Even the sound of someone drinking water can set it off. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.